Hey guys, Desert Alchemist here um, in Marin County. Uh, just wanted to do a little video really quickly on a mushroom, a really cool mushroom. If you look down here on the floor, you will see a bunch of agaricus mushrooms. Well, agaricus is the mushroom that's related uh, to Portobello, the white button mushroom. And they usually start out small and white. Sometimes they can be dark brown. As they start growing, their cap will open and then they'll have these um, pinkish light colored gills that turn darker, dark pink, darker and darker. And once they mature, they should turn a nice dark brown. I don't see any dark brown here yet, but usually the pink will mature into a dark brown color. And this is a really cool mushroom because it is one of the uh, most famous mushrooms in this family. It is called Agaricus uh, xanthodermis. And this is a relative of the portobello or the white, you know, the, um, the white button mushroom that is poisonous. And Agaricus uh, xanthodermis will stain yellow when it's bruised, when it's disturbed its tissue will immediately stain yellow and then this yellow color will eventually darken into a brown so this is the non-edible type there's a lot of species of agaricus um, that are edible that are, some are yellow stainers that are edible but they never stain yellow and then turn into a brown color they'll stain yellow and they'll stay yellow now um, obviously the portobello and the other white button family mushrooms look very similar. They have a rounded base at times. They have a skirt that hangs once the cap opens. And they have pink gills that darken over time into a chocolatey brown color. But with Agaricus, the trick to telling whether they're edible or not would be to scratch them and see if they stain yellow or if they stain red. Most of the red ones are safe some of the yellow stainers are, are safe to eat, but this one is not. And another quick way to tell if it's edible or not is to smell it. And this one just smells um, not edible. It smells like, um, like radishes or some sort of plant. It doesn't smell like that um, nutty mushroomy flavor that Portobello has. So that's, that's one of the key differences, but I wanted to share this with you guys. We don't see this much uh, where we come from, but here it seems to be growing in this little area and it's growing in a ring. I wanted to share that mushroom with you guys. And hope you guys have a nice day.